Hey, it's Kara Ostara here coming at you um, from inside the RV King Crusader. It is a mess in here right now and I wanted to try something new with the headset and see if this sound is a little bit better. Okay, so I think the sound is good. Had to do a check there. Um, so this is week four of the YouTube Diaries with Cara Ostara and King Crusader. You haven't seen King Crusader yet, but I think I do want to make a video where he is in it with me and can like answer some questions um, and you can see us together. One thing I might change is like I uh, videotape with my phone and then I face it towards me so I can see myself as I'm talking and then I make eye contact with myself constantly and then judge what's happening like in my head I'm like what's my hair doing? Why is one boob larger than the other boob? Why do my arms look like? So if there's humans, women that do that same thing, I'm doing it to myself the entire time I videotape this. So I wanted to update you all on a few things. Um, last week I posted the video of uh, North Cascades National Park. It was awesome. It took us like two and a half hours to get there from our park. Um, and we only spent maybe four and a half hours in the park. And then we had a two and a half hour drive back to the RV park. Um, so it was wonderful, but we'd love to spend more time in those parks. I don't know if anyone else does a similar thing. Like we have a special deal with Thousand Trails where we camp for free the whole year. Um, but that means the Thousand Trails parks aren't necessarily near all the coolest attractions and national parks. So then you have to drop. So I'm thinking about, we talked about saving up some money and maybe purchasing RV parks that are closer to the national parks in next year. And that way we don't waste so much time and energy and gas driving back and forth into national parks. Um, so hopefully you got a chance to check out that video. If not, go check it out on my page. You can also um, click the bell up in the corner. Um, so that way it notifies you whenever I post new videos every week. Um, and make sure to subscribe because it helps me and you can like and comment videos. Um, so some things that have already happened this week since I last posted. Um, we are in Hillsboro, Oregon with Gregory's family. I have met about 20 to 25 of his family members. He comes from a large family. Um, he has seven brothers and sisters. They have all been super wonderful and sweet. He has 19 nieces and nephews and still counting. Um, I've just absolutely loved it. Like I feel like I'm home in Kentucky with my people and my tribe. So we had an awesome event on was it Saturday or Sunday? It was Saturday. We went to a place called Oaks Park here in um, Oregon. I can't remember if it's in Hillsboro or Oregon City, Oregon, um, but it's like a small amusement park. Um, and it was awesome. I felt like a kid the entire day. All of uh, Gregory's sisters showed up with all of their kids and friends and family. We had a total of 18 of us and we ran around that park from 11 a.m. until about four or I think it was four o'clock. Um, they have one massive roller coaster, a Ferris wheel, something called the spider. Um, there was the stratosphere fear f-e-a-r and it's spun in a circle like this so like 40 people could get on the rod and you face outward away from each other and then it goes like so it's spinning and it goes up and down and up and down and then it gets so hot it goes all the way around like that um that was the first ride that i rode and i, I thought i was going to be totally fine and i talked this like huge game and i was not okay but i I kept pushing through um, and it's just kind of funny. I don't know if everyone goes through this, but I'm going to associate it with age, how your body changes over time. Like from a small child until early twenties, fine. So now that I'm on these bigger rides, it's like my stomach and my brain just is not reacting the same way. Um, like I didn't want to be sick and I didn't want to have a headache or like I didn't want to have the urge to throw up but then I kind of still did and couldn't control it so I don't know if that's an age thing um, but that's what I'm associating with like your body just changes over time um, we had a wonderful lunch the kids had fun we all got some 
even though yes Krista and Morgan I'm wearing my sunscreen we still did get a little bit of sun um, I forgot to keep reapplying but I am doing good using my face wash twice a day um, and my sunscreen when I go outside I don't put it on inside but it's so expensive I don't want to waste it so I'll get better at that um, good food great people we got a lot of great pictures I'll put some in this video are you ready to watch the videos and the pictures because here we go Are you hanging out? Yeah, I'm hanging out. <laughs> if I go up there? Yes. <laughs> I'm <all> up. <laughs> Look, see? Super great Tom and then on Sunday we stayed at home with the grandparents and one of the sisters came over with her family which are two adorable kids and an adorable husband we cut down a tree for the grandparents this week or part of the tree so um, I'll include some pictures and I think I have some videos of that fun adventure it was just 
on my side of the family, the hefty side, we don't have small children in our family. Like I've actively decided not to have children. Gregory has actively decided not to have children. Both of my sisters are currently in the phase of probably not going to have children. So to be around all of this youth and excitement and this learning and the curiosity is just, it's like, it's really refreshing. Um, and we can talk about, like, if, if people are interested, we can talk about later on why I've made an active decision not to have children and kind of touch base more on, on, um, that aspect of my life. If people are interested, if they're not, I won't talk about it. So let me know in the comments if you're interested as to why so far I've decided not to have children. And then we can kind of discuss your thoughts and my thoughts on it. Um, but it's been so nice to be around kids um, and his family and get to know his history and understand where he come, where Gregory comes from um, and just build my tribe over here. Um, so I've just really enjoyed it and it's been so pleasant and such um, a positive experience. And so anyways, we're going to continue to hanging out continue hanging out we're in Oregon for another like six weeks we are going to move around a lot so we're like going into a thousand trails park for two weeks then we come back for two weeks then we go to seaside Oregon for two weeks and then we come back for a week and then I think we're gone and we go to Bend and we start our travels down south down the coastline of um, California I um, and down into southern California so those are our future plans. Let me go ahead and show you the pictures. And if I have videos, show you the videos of cutting down the trees. Here we go. a lot of fun and um, now I'm getting ready so I actually dressed up a little bit I don't know if you can see my little outfit here but it's a skirt um, I'm gonna go to the Hillsboro farmers market Gregory's getting ready and he's going to a guy's night mm. we usually do everything together so it'll be different and fun to kind of have our own separate evening time. And he's going to go out with the guys and do Jeep stuff. And I'm going to ride my bicycle. Look who it is back there. I was just talking about you. <laughs> um, ride my bicycle to the farmer's market. So maybe I'll include some videos of that. This video is already eight minutes long. Me just recording this through. I'm trying to make these a little bit shorter so I can keep people's attention. Maybe this time I've made some more like facial expressions that'll like, people are like, what is her face doing? Like she's talking about some like crazy things. Um, so farmer's market tonight, I'll put a picture or video in of that. Tomorrow I have a live stream with Nikki Benedict ah, connecting through T-H-R-U, Nikki tomorrow on Instagram. And then I have another live um, interview with another lady on Instagram and I don't know her handle but I'll put it in the comments so keep a lookout for that we super appreciate you watching you want to come over and say goodbye he's he's gonna come over and say goodbye <laughs> just say goodbye we're gonna leave okay Kara Ostar and King Crusader Cheerio, peace out <laughs> bye